before. This is young Dr. D. Nice on her senior year. And remember, during the this frontal lobe training section, this is where I share my experience that you don't have to learn from your own mistakes. You can learn from mine. It was my senior year, and it was time to take my senior pictures. I was already a little nonchalant about high school. I thought everybody in high school were just weirdos except for me. Like, why do they have to be acting like that? Like, where they do that at? Who are these people? So immature. I thought I was grown, okay? I thought I was just dropped from a alien planet and just plopped in the middle of these very strange human beings. They weren't my speed. <laughs> at least that's how I felt. This teenage angsty. And I just kind of treated high school like that. I did not really get as involved in things as I should have. I did some stuff, but I was just like, eh, 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 eh. I, I, that's just, you know, and it wasn't like I was all that. It wasn't, you know, I was a little chubby in high school. I lost a bunch of weight my senior year. Yeah, my my brother was on the football team. My best friend was a cheerleader. But it wasn't like people were just dying to to see me and talk to me why I needed to have this attitude. No, I was just a regular smegular student that thought she was better than the people that she was at school with. They were so immature. And I did not want to be a part of that. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. And I really could have done better with my high school experience had I really immersed myself more into the high school culture. That was the same attitude I had with my senior pictures. Oh, why do I have to take this like the yearbook? Why do I have to be in it? <laughs> I just I was just like, I don't need to know that I was in that in that school. I was barely like there there. It's so funny, too. I still have all my high school paraphernalia. I don't pull it out randomly to show everybody, but I love nostalgic things. I still have those things. And that's why I'm so glad, even though I had a whole attitude about going to take my picture, that my parents was just like, nope, you are going down there and you are going to take that picture. And, uh, you know, my parents, Jamaican, if they say you going down there, guess what? You are going down there to take that picture. <laughs> that's right, that's right. And you're gonna be clapping the whole way. So I went down there, took my picture. I even put a little quote. I don't even remember this. Nothing succeeds like success. <laughs> I put a whole little quote up in the, the yearbook. <clears throat> Here's the thing, guys. Understand. Wisdom knows that Everything doesn't really require you to be protesting. Yeah, when you go to some places, you may not fully fit in. You don't have to make it worse by, ma by making sure that you don't fit in, by purposely isolating yourself. You don't have to do that. You can find something. You're, you're already there. You have to be there. Your school, for me. For high school, I had to be there. I'll say my pa parents going to be in jail because, you know, <laughs> that people, there's a whole truancy thing that you got to have your kids in school. You have to be there already. Make the most of it. Don't purposely isolate yourself. Don't purposely think that you're better. There are things, yeah, maybe you are a little bit immature. Well, take that opportunity to help other people, to put yourself in a situation where your maturity will be of benefit to the people around you. You don't have to like purposely just put yourself in the periphery, put yourself out there on the edges, on the fringes of everything. And then oh, those people, blah, blah, blah. what? No, Come on now, make the better of your spirits because then there is stupidness. That's what stupidness is doing. They are um, non-compliant for no apparent reason. You are just claiming you're different and want to be different for no apparent reason. Find the similarities and enjoy the place that you are. There you have it. Wisdom and stupidness. Choose wisdom. And remember, show me a brightest. Show me your best. Show me the latest guru. 
God's wisdom lets theirs look like stiffness. <laughs> All right, let me know.